I don't know what it is, it's just as big. It could be calculus, it could be dream. A big math problem freak out. A big math problem freak out. A big math problem freak out. A freak out. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I was born with a learning disability. I had a condition where sequencing numbers and letters was almost impossible. It was humiliating not to understand something that was easy to everyone else. But it turns out I'm not alone. 6.3 million Americans have learning disabilities. My mom and I refuse to give up the quest for me to love learning. The technology I'm about to share with you not only has helped me love learning, it has helped me soar in school. I went from being two years behind to advanced in every subject. How is that possible? Well, we're creating something called Storybook Math. You've probably heard of the Khan Academy, where Solomon Khan shows you brilliant math videos on how to do standard math concepts. What we're creating is a video platform and website where kids from all around the world can share their videos about how to solve math problems in a fun, interesting way. That's how I finally understood math. When we turned math problems into stories and numbers into characters, it brought math to life in ways that math haters like me never thought was even remotely possible. Storybookmath.org is a website full of videos that have been posted by students. Each video explains a math concept through a story. This particular math video explains the mean, median, and mode. Let's watch! Hello, and welcome to Late Night Math. I'm Central Tendency, and tonight we're hoping to find out who is really average. Mean? Median or the moat. First, put your hands together for mean. Today, a student can grab a smartphone from a parent, tell a story, and upload it to YouTube in seconds. A kid in San Jose can upload a video that will be watched by students in New York City, Istanbul, and all over the world. And maybe some adults, too. Shh. Students teaching students and kids teaching grown-ups are all things that are possible with 21st century technology and storybook math. It isn't crowdsourcing, it's kid sourcing. Could be right or it could be wrong. Uh...